the idea goes back a few years to uh, our attempts to uh, address the needs of those who are not able to get to all parts of the cathedral, either because they can't move about or, or for whatever reason. And so it started as an accessibility issue. We wanted to be able to give an experience to, to those visitors who couldn't get there, what it's like to get up into the dome, what it's like to stand on the top of the Golden Gallery and see the great views out, and also what it's like to see uh, one of the greatest treasures of the cathedral, which is Wren's great model. And in the great model, we've been able to do something rather particular because we're able to take our visitors inside the great model, which they can't actually do if they go and see it. They can only see it from the outside. So it started as um, how to get access to these places. But then, of course, the idea has developed beyond that to giving uh, a real idea of what the church stands for, where it's come from, and indeed where it's going to. Um, there are three groups of films. Uh, one is a, a timeline which acts as a kind of link between the various films. But the films themselves are one on the life of the cathedral to give an idea of what the day-to-day -day life of the cathedral feels like to those who are here. Uh, the second gives a very, very brief uh, outline of the history of the building. Uh, the way that it's actually risen and been consumed by fire on a number of different occasions, uh, including when it was last, uh, when it was nearly consumed by fire again during the Blitz in the last war. Well, we've wanted it to be rather non-technical in a way. We've wanted it to seem quite natural, and I hope the visitors who who go in will just feel themselves to be completely immersed uh, in the experience that they'll find there. In fact, of course, it is very much cutting-edge technology to be able to project moving images 270 degrees around you and take you flying up into the dome uh, is amazing and requires a great deal of uh, very careful photography and piecing together and, and all of that kind of thing. But we hope that it will seem effortless and that people won't realise actually how technical uh, the installation has been. Oculus is a Latin word um, meaning an eye um, and uh, it was chosen uh, in order to give the concept uh, that it's a sort of like a blink of an eye to get a, an eyeful of what goes on at St Paul's in the ordinary working day. But of course to an architect like myself Oculus has a, a technical meaning as well. It's a, it's a, 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 a circular shaped opening uh, in a building. And St Paul's, of course, has a, a few oculi, uh, one particular remarkable oculus, which is at the top of a great internal dome, which allows you to see up, right through it, right up to the top of the Golden Gallery, uh, another 130 feet above that. Yes, the, the, the timeline uh, has been linked as an integral part of the concept of Oculus right from the very beginning. The idea that people need to understand when the cathedral came into existence, the present building came into existence, but that um, the original founding of the, of the cathedral was uh, hundreds of years uh, before that uh, in 604. Um, so that what they see around them may seem only 300 years old, and indeed is 300 years old, but they will understand that actually St Paul's has been here uh, since the 7th century.